Right, so let me go back. I'm much less comfortable with the interface on a laptop than I am on um, 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 uh, hmm. So why has she now not got that? Um, uh, uh, uh. Karen, 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 Karen. Uh, um, and then also my girl Troy. Um, has also messaged me. I was randomly doing a class the other day, and I was Troy gif gifted me a mug, and I thought, um, um, uh... oh, she's chickened out. Oh, she always chickens out, does Troy? Chicken. <laughs> Where are we? Denise, you look lovely. Have you been out? I can't hear you. No, I think it's the lighting in here. Uh, I don't think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank Take you. the compliment. Take the compliment. Um, um, hang on, let me just close that down. Um, ah. Let me just close a few windows down. Close, 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 close. How to build an atomic bomb? I don't need that anymore. Uh, duh, duh, duh. The res where Putin's hiding? I don't need that anymore. Duh, duh, duh. Um, how to make explosives using kitchen um, materials that we all have? Done. Um, uh, how to post anthrax to Meghan Mark or joke? Um, um, uh, uh, uh. Good, we're back up and running. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Can you see me, by the way? Why is mine not running? Um, there we go, we're back up. Right. Good. Uh, I think there's somebody else who I'd said was I was going to invite, and I can't think who it is. So there was Karen. Um, Karen. Uh, you just said Troy, I think. Troy's chickened out. <laughs> um, 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 uh, um, um, where's that gone? My head is all over the place today. Um, um, oh, well, they'll message me. Um, good, right. How is everybody? Yeah. Did you spot Brie? Recommending alternative sources. Been in the group one minute already. She's plugging someone else. No etiquette. No etiquette. <laughs> I'll be like, good. Have you learned everything we've done? <laughs> Off you go. So, Bree, we'll start with you. So, save me, Luke. Oh, Tia, I love the colour you're wearing. That's very nice. So, save me, um, Bree. Luke. I enjoy um, the podcast. The word for podcast in domestic France is le podcast. Don't worry about other words. They're a bit more Canadian. Yeah. So say for me, the word, um, yes, yeah, so say for me, Brie, I enjoy these. I enjoy the podcast that I recommended. I enjoy the podcast that I recommended. Uh, the podcast qui me recommande, ça me plaît. The podcast. Who's in charge of the sentence when you say the podcast? Who's in charge? Who's the character in the sentence when you say the podcast? 
who who so far who exists in the sentence so far when you say the podcasts who exists in the sentence so far um just the podcast great nice haircut brendan if you then say i recommend it are you using the same person or a different person oh, a different person yeah good so it'll be the podcast whatever the, the, the podcast because um Je recommande ça me plaît. Pardon me, my mouthful. Well done for knowing to use plaire, but if it's podcasts plural, are we A, present tense or past tense, and are we B, um, singular or plural? So in other words, let's, answer, let's ask those questions. Three, the podcast please me. Podcasts, are they singular or plural? You're saying podcasts. Okay, uh, plural. Because you recommended podcasts, okay? Um, so what's, and are we present tense or past tense? I enjoy these podcasts. Are they past, present or past? Um, enjoy present. Mm -hmm. So what is the they form of the verb player in the present? Um... Sa, sa, mm. We can't be using sa, can we? Because we're with the they form. Ce sont... No, 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 no. Okay. Se becomes ce sont. C apostrophe est. We're not there. We're merely swapping um, whatever the thing is. So we don't always have to say ça me plaît. We can say le gâteau me plaît. Le gâteau m'a beaucoup plu. We can use other things with player. S'il te plaît, if it pleases you, we're using the verb player. We haven't got a set anywhere near it, have we? Yeah. So how would you say, how would you say the podcast please me, for want of a better word? Le podcast me say. Pause. What's the pronoun for me in a sentence? <laughs> me. Thank you. We have no room for may. We're not in Spanish. We're not in Italian, are we? We don't use that may. Okay. Um, 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 may would come in a different way in Italian. It wouldn't come in the, in the middle of the verb. Um, uh, so, and then what's the plural of player? Um. Using Lukey's method, method one, the very beginning of everything. Genesis, we'll call it. <laughs> Picture me as Adam with nothing. No, I'm naked. I'm naked. We haven't even got to the fig leaf stage yet. Right back in the beginning. Um, what do we divide verbs into? A verbs and what verbs? So soft hard. Gorgeous. Is plaire an A verb or a soft hard verb? It's a soft hard. Gorgeous. They, is that single soft or plural hard? It should be hard. Lovely. Try not to put the vision of Luke naked in the Garden of Eden and the words soft and hard together. But, but basically, like, so what is the hard sound of player? Play, 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 plaise on plaise, plaise. Yeah? Plaise, not plet. Ple You're advanced enough to know that that should also be our subjunctive, Bri Bri. Yeah. yeah? Save me, I'm happy you like it. Je suis content que ça te plaise. Uh, je suis content que... Ça te plaise. Ça te plaise. Je suis content que ça te plaise. Good. So I like, I enjoy the podcast. Via alors, um, les podcasts me plaise. Yeah. Anybody done any high school Spanish? Me gusta versus me gustan, the plural thing. Me gusta el arbol. Me gustan los arboles. It's like it to me pleases, single thing. They to me please, plural things. Yeah. Other languages do it all the time. Mi piace. It pleases me. You know, all of this business, it's, we just have both in French. We go both ways around. Wow. When else, Brie Brie, do we use player? What else is player used for? Um, please. Please. Si vous plaît. Yes, good point. But when, when, when else do we use it? Brie, name me somebody that you think is fine, that you think is good looking. Mm, Brad Pitt. <laughs> do you know what? He at Wimbledon, he's upped his game, hasn't he? Yeah. That is some seriously good filler and radio frequency timing. <laughs> Lukey knows these things. That jawline is damn good spot filler and some damn good radio frequency tightening. Um, 
Brad Pitt's got an amazing dermatologist. If you look at Brad Pitt in the 80s and the 90s, if you look at Thelma and Louise, alors si tu le regardes pendant les années 80, les années 90, he had so much acne scarring. I don't know if you remember. Alors, il avait beaucoup de cicatrices. Uh, il avait une peau acnéique. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> and they totally sorted that out. You know, he, he, he was like, <coughs> he had like pits. No pun intended. <laughs> il avait des creux. You know, completely, I don't know who the hell he's seen. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, that, that, that's some good derm work. Um, good. Um, lovely. So if you say, now name me somebody else that you find attractive other than Brad Pitt. Give me another person. Mm, Barack Obama. <laughs> Why are you laughing? He's a perfectly lovely guy. <laughs> the way he rates his queen, that's attractive. <laughs> when you love somebody, love them fully. He knows damn well Michelle ran that place. What I wouldn't give for you to have her as president, I can't even tell you. So you kind of did, in all due respect. <laughs> you kind of did. So um, uh, if you say, I fancy, or Brad, Brad Pitt and Bar Brad and Barack are hot, so you can you find them both attractive. Brad and Barack me plaise. Yeah, I fancy them. You live in the UK, you know the expression fancy. So I fancy them, il me plaise. Yeah, they fancy me, je leur plais. All right, all right. Um, let's just go around the group. I know it's so dumb, but let's just do that verb. Denise, name me somebody you find attractive. It could literally be some weird dude or girl people that I've never even heard of, but just give me the name of some random person that you find attractive. Uh, Liam Neeson. Are we talking taken? Or are we talking kind of like years ago? What period are we talking? Uh, years ago. When he was in that thing with... So he was very cute at the end of Schindler's List when he cried and was all like, oh, I could have saved more of them. That was lovely. Quand il a pleuré à la fin de la liste Schindler, quand il a pleuré, ça, ça m'a beaucoup ému. Lovely. So say for me, I fancy Liam Neeson. Uh... Liam Neeson, me plaise. Me plaise, because we're just in a normal... Me plaise. Okay, very good. Right. Have you right. Good? Me Liam Neeson, me plaise. I fancied... You're comfortable with me saying that in British English, yeah. I... I when I saw him, sometimes when you see somebody for the first time, it's an obvious thing. So I fancied Liam Neeson. Action. <laughs> Uh, Liam Neeson, uh, ma plu. Good. I used to fancy Liam Neeson. If ever you find yourself too into Liam Neeson and you want to undo it, Google him naked on the Ellen show. It'll kind of undo it, let me tell you. So off you go. So say for me, I used to fancy Liam Neeson. Uh, Liam Neeson, um, me plaisir. Good, okay. Oh, Susan. We're just talking about Susan. Susan. Uh, will fancy Liam Neeson. Tense change, person change, off you go. Susan will fancy Liam Neeson. Stand still, Auntie Denise. In the sentences that we've done up until now, who is doing the verb player? Uh, the um, the object, uh, uh, Liam Neeson. Well, in this sentence, the subject, but the object in English, yeah, but the subject in French. So right. Right. who's going to start the sentence if we're saying Susan will fancy Liam Neeson? Who's going to start the sentence? Which words are going to come first? Um, I guess Susan. Uh, Let's listen to what you've just said. In the I sentence... Know. You've just told me that the object in English becomes the subject in French. Did you just say that? Yes, I did. So with all yeah. the will in the world to not be sarcastic, it's a gift. To quote Ursula, <laughs> it's what I do. Is it not desperately hard to not be sarcastic now? Who is doing the verb? Okay? Liam Neeson. Liam so Neeson. Who's your, what's your first words going to be? Liam what are Neeson. your first words going to be? Uh, Liam Neeson. Lovely, lovely. Now say, how are we going to get to Susan? Yeah? So say for me, I fancy him. 
Let's just go right back to the beginning and say, I fancy him. Je lui plais. Il me, il me plaît. It's il hard. Me... It's hard not to be sarcastic, isn't it? When I get those kind of answers. Who's doing the verb, people? The person that you find attractive. Off you go. Safely, I fancy me... him. Il me plaît. Good job. She fancies him. The il isn't going to go anywhere, is it? <clears throat> Uh, um, il, il, il play. Il lui play. Final answer. Il lui play. Go back to ça, which we've done a shed load. Brendan, oh. say for me, I like it. Using ça. J'aime ça. Yes, that's not by definition wrong, but could you say, starting with ça, starting with ça, I like it, starting with ça. Oh, it's ça me. What the pissing fuck is going on with this meh? <laughs> man, Really, man. as hard man. as I work for mere coins, do I want to hear Emmy is meh? Go on, I like it. Ça m'aime. Uh... When you use M A, who does the verb? The person liking or the thing being liked? The person liking. When you use plaire, who does the verb? The person liking or the thing or person being liked? The thing being liked. So I shall ask you again, starting with ça. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, which yeah. verb do I now need to use if I'm going to start with ça? Aimé or plaire? If I'm saying oh. I like that. Plaire. Ça, ça I should play. bloody well think so. Will you now say for me, I like it? Ça me play. Don't say it quickly and well now with an air of false confidence. Go again. Ça me play. Ça me play. Ça me play. Nice better accent. Now say you like it. Start with ça. Uh, ça te play. Now say he likes it. Uh, ça, ça lui play. If your mouth went near sir, what would I say? You would. Other than two uh, words, second one ending in off. Is sa and ma a reflexive relationship? Sa to no. ma, is that a reflexive relationship? No. So do you have any fucking right saying sa and sir? Do no. we have phrases in French, Bren, Bren, that use sa and sir? Yes. The neutral, ça se dit, you say it. Ça se dit pas, you don't say it. Ça se mange, ça se fait. You know, ça s'écrit. There's loads that do that. Not here. Right, so say with me then. He likes it, starting with ça. Uh, ça, ça lui plaît. He liked it, action. Uh, ça lui a... Uh, go back to ça, go say me, ça, I like oh. Ça, ça, ça lui a plu. Fully with full voice. Ça lui a plu. Good. Why do we do full voice? So you bastards have a hope in hell with a muscle memory. Okay. I, no, um, say for me, Tia will like, no, Tia will fancy Liam Neeson. Let's imagine. Oh, 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 we're, we're all going to go to the cinema. We're going to go and see some. Every movie Liam Neeson has made since then, which do you know what really annoys me the most on a feminist level about Taken 2 is that he didn't train the daughter to be a badass. So when there was a second movie, I was like, oh, OK, I get it. His daughter's now going to be some freaking wicked ninja that's got all his skills and she's going to rescue him. No, no. I was so disappointed. Alors, j'étais super déçu parce que moi, je pensais qu'il allait effectivement donner une formation de the oof a safi no terrible just the same thing all over again um lovely 
I have a very special set of skills. Do you, Liam? I guess education isn't one of them because you've not taught your daughter to look after herself. Um, lovely. Um, uh, you can, however, give a child too much self-defence. My daughter seems to think that she can take on any grown adult. So when you try and scare her with strangers and paedophiles and the like, she's like, I will punch them in the eyes. I'm like, you're tiny. <laughs> How are you going to manage that? But she somehow seems to think she can take down a grown man. Whatever. Elle pense qu'elle va effectivement gagner contre mec, enfin, un grand, quoi. Lovely. I'll punch them in the balls. I'm like, yes, but if they put their arm around you and even their hand over your mouth, how are you going to manage it? You're not. Okay. Good. Um, lovely. Um, so go for me then, Brendan. Tia is going to fancy Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Uh, player. Uh, are we not hearing is going to? Are we not hearing is going to? Uh, yes. Yes, Li uh, Liam Neeson va pleasure. Pleasure. Would you like to revise that before I get facetious and sarcastic? Uh, I'd like to I remind you that you said ça lui play. Can I just remind you that you said ça lui play? What should be absolutely through you like a stick of rock, like a stick? Look, I'm one of the Matthew born swans we were doing this the other day <laughs> actually it's like have you seen the have you seen matthew ball with the male swans um so what should be through you like a stick of rock i look like i'm doing like a heart thing. what should be through you like a stick of rock it, the fact it's indirect good boy so at the risk of being a basic bitch tia over to you if i was looking up something in the dictionary and i was looking for it to be indirect. What am I most likely going to see in the dictionary? What is going to be written out? Clue, you're going to want to hear the word quelqu'un here somewhere. What's going to show me the indirect? Oh, quelqu'un. Ah, quelqu'un, yeah. I've told you guys 90% of the time that will translate as a motto, lui, nous, vous, leur. Agreed? A lui, a elle exists, but not a standard. All right. Side note, advanced people, if you want to use it to reinforce something, that's fine. I sent it him. Je le lui ai envoyé. À lui, to him. Um, to you, you've got a daughter, haven't you? Yeah. You know, uh, so you're like, Luke, I wouldn't send the girl child anything. She's spoilt enough, Luke. She's coming into her female adolescent powers. It's a freaking nightmare. But let's just assume that you were going to send her something, you know, like the address of a sort of a young person's hostel she might like to spend the next five years in until she learns to be grateful. So say for me, Luke, so say I sent it her. I sent it her. I gave it her. Yeah, je, je la lui, the, you know, the address. Je la lui ai donné. A elle. If you needed to stress so it was completely clear, that's completely doable, all right? So Tia, can you now say, Brendan, name me some random actor that you find hot. Name me some random actor that you find hot. Clark Gable. Do you really, back in the day? Okay. Um, uh, frankly, Brendan, I don't give a damn. So could you both... <laughs> <coughs> so could you... Um, Say for me, Tia, Brendan fancies Clark Gable. Gone with the wind. Brendan fancies Clark Gable. Um, Clark Gable um, play a Brandon. Gorgeous. If Brendan had seen Clark Gable before his Hollywood transformation, he wouldn't have fancied him. Tia, if Brendan had seen Clark Gable before his Hollywood transformation, he wouldn't have fancied him. Si Brandon avait vu uh, Clark Gable... Everything's going to be good in this. Can we just say Brendan properly? Because some names just don't lend themselves too well to French. Um, uh, Brendan, do your best impression of how the average person in France says your first name, if you wouldn't mind. Brendan. 
Because the EN wouldn't go to ball. Yeah, they'd imitated the English brand. Now, weirdly, Brandon was kind of quite well known as a name in France because of 90210. Yeah, Brenda and Brendan and all this stuff. Jason Priestley, talking about people who are cute. Um, lovely pinky skin. Um, I read that he used to shag Faye Dunaway, which I think is quite impressive. Um, lovely. Uh, lovely. So, in other words, just say Brendan. If the name don't work in French, don't worry too much. Off you go. Lovely. So off you go then, too. Uh, sorry, is it Brandon? Brandon? Just say Brendan. Just say Brendan. Don't just don't Brandon. try and translate. Just say Brendan. Brendan. La Brendan. Just say Brendan. Um, si Brendan avait lu uh, Clark Gable uh, avant de son transformation. <laughs> Who bought me this lovely candle? Somebody bought me. My best friend gave me this when I was having a really, really down moment a couple of months ago. I really, really missed somebody. I'd messed something up with him and I was in a lot of pain with my joints. And she's not. Alors, quelqu'un me manquait. Careful. Coming on to that in just a moment. Coming on to that in a moment. Quelqu'un me manquait. Parce que j'avais dit quelque chose de stupide. I didn't say something stupid. I just said too much. Alors, j'ai trop dit. And I was in a lot of pain with my joints. Alors, j'avais beaucoup, j'avais mal avec euh, les articulations. And my best friend, who's not very huggy, huggy, feely, feely, alors elle n'est pas trop câlin, she sent me this, which is marvellous. Um, it said, I wish I could take your pain and give it to someone we both really hate. <laughs> which I think is brilliant. So, in other words, in other words, in other words, just try again, Tia. See what happens. Si Brandon avait vu Clark Cape avant son transformation, pause, de... pause. Transformation. What are the last three letters to you, my darling? Ah, c'est féminin. So, sa transformation. What did you say a few moments ago, which literally went through my heart like a dagger? Yeah. Or as Myra, Myra Rose would say, the knife in my back. Like, what, what, seriously, what did you, what did you, um, uh, Brenda, do you watch Shit's Creek? Have you ever watched, Tia, have you seen Shit's Creek? Denise, have you? Oh my God, Brie, have you? No. <laughs> Guys, watch Shit's Creek, it's amazing, it's such a good TV show. So, in other words, what did Tia decide to do to upset me? She said Avon, and then what word? And uh, I said uh, She did. Why? Is transform a verb? Yes. Is transformation a verb? No. All right? So, off you go. Uh, si Brandon avait vu une claque et belle avant sa transformation, à Hollywood. Transformation, transformation. Transformation à Hollywood. Uh... Il lui aurait pas... Sa, um, sa transformation hollywoodienne, because Hollywood has its own adjective. Yeah, sa transformation hollywoodienne, um, he wouldn't have fancied him. Um, il lui aurait pas plu. Good job, you. Yeah, hypothetical past. Yeah, good. On to Brie. Brie, I think you've given me, did you say The Rock last time? Or have I got The Rock out of nowhere? Who was it? Tell me oh. some token person that you found. Barack. Barack Obama. Barack, that's it, right. <laughs> Nothing against Dwayne, but, you know, but I was just like, did you say The Rock? Yeah, no, Barack. Okay, right. Lovely. Okay. Um, uh, it's weird, because apparently he was a bit of a geek and a bit of a fail before Michelle sorted him out. It's weird that Michelle fancied him when she first met him. Because she was ahead, wasn't she? She was like senior in the law. She had done more. She's a bit older. What of this business? Yeah. Good. So why wasn't she the, pri the president? We need to ask ourselves. So off you go. So uh, um, my mate used to have this fucking amazing t-shirt that said i love god and she is black <laughs> and i literally every time i think of michelle or barbara i'm like 
Yeah. <laughs> that whole, when they go low, we go high. But equally, as much as that, I'm sure when the camera's off, I'm sure she could just literally take somebody out. Seriously, I just, whatever your politics, like Republican, Democrat, I just think the woman's an absolute legend. I really, really do. Um, good, 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 good. So in other words, if you say, um, I, yeah, um, it's weird that when, it's weird that she fancied him when they met. Let's say it's weird that she fancied him when they met because she was cooler than he was. It's weird that she fancied him when they met. Have a go, Brie Brie. Your microphone is on, my darling girl. C'est bizarre que c'est que qu'elle qu lui play. And still. Who is doing the verb to fancy? The person finding somebody attractive or the person that is attractive? Um, the, the person that is. Yeah. Lovely. Unless we're in Spanish, the word for he is not el, is it? But right. we... Pause. Si. Mm -hmm. What tense are we going to be in if it's fancied all of a sudden a reaction? Um, Next question. What is going to happen if we've had... It's weird that. What's that going to make happen, Bree Bree? Try and put this stuff together. Um, right. Um, subjunctive. So... Subjunctive, subjunctive or subjunctive past? Oh. Uh, yeah? Yeah. C'est bizarre qu'il a... Lovely, but we've missed out that she fancied him. C'est bizarre qu'il... Lui a played. Lui a Lui a mm, plays, plays. No, you don't need to change the last word, do you? You don't yeah, need to change the last word yeah, yeah, because yeah. you've done the subjunctive. So what's the past yeah, participle? It's two. <laughs> now, yep. shall I be a C-U-N-T? No, shall I be a capital C-U-N-T and make you all go... Ça me plaît, ça me plaise, ça me plaira, ça me plairait. Il est intéressant que ça me plaise avant de me plaire. Ça m'a plu, ça m'avait plu, ça m'aura plu, ça m'aurait plu. Il est intéressant que ça m'ait plu après m'avoir plu. Why, yes, let's do this shit. Brendan, ça me plaît. No, Brie, we're on Brie. I, I don't know why I'm being nice. Brie, you can go first. Ça me plaît, ça me plaise, ça me plaira, ça me plairait. Il est intéressant que ça me plaise avant de me plaire. Ça m'a plu, ça m'avait plu, ça m'aura plu, ça m'aurait plu. Il est intéressant que ça m'ait plu. Uh, après, m'avoir plu. You'll notice plu is in the last position on all of the bottom six. Off you go, Brie Brie. Ça m'a plu. We're in the top line. There is no auxiliary on the top line. Come on, we've done this. This is why I go, right, you guys go and practice this. I know that there's six on the top and there's six on the bottom. Top, ça bottom. <laughs> I know that you're not practicing top and bottom. Brendan, keep your mouth closed. So um, off you go. Some you practice it, yeah. Summer play, summer play day, summer, summer play, 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 huh? Good, but say it like you've said the future tense in the past seven days. Mm. Uh, summer play, 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 summer. Pl 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 repetition doesn't do shit for me, does it? Because it shows there's no muscle memory. Summer play. Ça me plus et ça me plaira, ça me plairait. Keep going smoothly, Brie Brie. Do me the last two. Ça, ça m'a... That repetition. What did I literally say? Don't repeat. Come on. I'm not being a bastard. It shows there's no muscle memory and you won't develop muscle memory from it. Give me all you've got. Ça, sit on it. Ça, Brendan, keep your mouth closed. Ça, until you're ready to move to the next one. Yeah? Don't come off vowels i can't hear them and you won't learn from it go again from the top do not fall off a brow a, a brow do not fall off a vowel break go from the top do not fall off a vowel my darling from the top some play gorgeous join between the two some play yeah lovely next one some play some pleasing some play some you're, play. you're stopping a vowel and we're not moving on to the next word don't make me get angry some you're stopping a vowel and we're not moving to the next word. Don't. 
don't just keep going until you're ready for the next look. Um, ça me plairait. Ça me plairait. Il est. Ça me plairait. Il est. Il était intéressant que ça. Now the present tense in the sub. Yep, yep. Ça me plaît. Plais. Plais. Oh. You're right, Bri Bri, that there are some verbs that do do that. Me me me, met or met et met. Yeah, but not here. Ça me plaît. Yeah, lovely. Avant de. Ça plaît. Avant de me plaire, go. Avant de me plaire. Um, Now the bottom line, go. Ça m'a. Ça m'a plu. Ça m'avait plu. Ça aura plu. M'aura plu. Ça aurait plu. Uh, que. Il est intéressant. Il est intéressant. Il est intéressant. Il est intéressant que ça ait plu. Where's the mug on? Il est intéressant que ça m'a plu. Where's the subjunctive on the middle gone? Il est intéressant que ça m'a plu. Good. All the way through, Brie. Joined up, my darling. We don't want to do this work again. Go long. Go joined. Go. Il est intéressant que ça m'a plu. Subjunctive up. middle. Up. Um, up. No, 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 no. Back to, il est intéressant que ça m'ait plu. Il est intéressant que ça m'ait plu. That is a gorgeous French voice. Intéressant, but that is a gorgeous French voice. I'm not being a meanie. Despite the maleficent cheekbones and raised eyebrow, I am not a Disney buddy. Do the joined up shit and your body will remember it. I don't need you all to be intellectual. Good God. Look around the room. Why would I be asking for intellectual behavior? So go again. Il est intéressant que ça m'ait plu, go. Il est intéressant que ça m'ait plu. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Can you all tell that Bria said that before? Mm -hmm. That's all you need to do in French. Say some shit. Say some shit well, your body will remember it. That's literally it. Good. Brenda. Same shit. This time, um, I fancy them. Let's say there's two people that you fancy. Okay. Uh, some. Oh, no. uh, oh I. Oh, sorry. Um, Don't move. Je, je ne... Don't move. For the purposes oh, yeah. of those watching, for the purposes of those watching, would you just cast your eye right now onto Brendan? So that I don't get emails saying I'm a nasty person. Brendan, how many times in today's class have I reiterated with you the fact that the verb is being done by the person being fancied? Would you like to just roughly estimate and tell me? Uh, four. Hmm? Lovely. I'll just leave that there, YouTube community. Off you go. So would you, <laughs> would you now please go again? I fancy them. Okay. Il me plaît. Il Plural. Me... Plural. Il me... Who's doing the verb in il me? Oh yeah, yeah. So hard. Il me, il me, il me plaît. Do what Bree's done, though. You keep your middle word going until you're ready for the next one. Otherwise, you won't learn from it the next time. Go. If you say one of the 12 that doesn't join vocally, you'll go right back to the start. And I won't be frustrated, but everybody else will. Tia would like to speak some more, so would Denise. Off you go, all the way from the top. If you're not Brendan, by all means, Pop your microphone off and practice saying this shit. I've no problem with that at all. Off you go, Brendan. Me please. I can't. I can't. Il me give me the tongues. Il me plaise. Il me plaise. Il me plaise. Il me plaira. They. They. Il me plaira. Go again. Don't tip X. That's white out for Americans. Off you go. Il me plaira. Carry on. 
il me plaise, il me plaisait, il me plairait, il me plairait que ils les je sens qu'il stand still for the love of God. We haven't had one week. Will you please say the word wine for me, Brendan? Good. So will you now please say the word interesting. Interessant. That was beautifully. Say it again. Interessant. Good. Interessant. Nicely said. Would you hold up in fingers? How many weeks we've gone where I haven't had to tell you how to pronounce that vowel? No, 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 listen, listen, linguists, listen. How many weeks have we had where I haven't had to tell you how to pronounce that vowel? Ah, ah, ah. Good. Don't worry, Tom is just as bad in the other group on ah. Uh. Ah, uh. right. So, off you go. Back to the. Uh, go, go, go from the subjunctive. Il est intéressant. Il est, il est intéressant. Il plaise. Where's the me? Qu'il me plaise. Il est intéressant. Il est notice, intéressant. notice, notice. So, Brie, the subjunctive of plaise comes from the they. The subjunctive of a lot of straightforward, soft, hard verbs is the they, isn't it? Il sort, he goes out. Il sort, they go out. Il est intéressant qu'il sort. Yeah, it's interesting they're going out. Sounds the same as the subjunctive anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Good. Carry on then. Avant de me plaise. Um, what no. form of a ber verb comes after the? Infinity. Avant de me plaire. Good. Who thinks we've absolutely just made a case for doing more of top six and bottom six? Me. Bottom line, hurry up. Yeah, uh, uh, il m'a, il m'a, il m'a plu. Who is doing the verb? Who is oh, doing the verb? Il, il m'a plu. Do il... I want repetition? Do I want repetition? No. Sit il... on il and make it last. Il m'a plu. There we go. Lovely. Il, I'm bored il, of this. Il m'ont plu. Il m'avait plu. Il m'auront plu. Il m'aurait plu. Il est intéressant qu'il m'ait plu. Uh, après, m'avoir plu. All right. Let's move verbs. Denise. I miss Luke. Luke me manque. I miss Phil. Uh, Phil me manque. I will always miss Phil when I don't see him. Uh, Phil me manque toujours. I will, I will, I will. So you all get in the present tense. That's it. I've got it. It goes the way round. Goes the way round. It goes the way round. But then I throw in a will or a shall or a used to, and you just mess up all the tenses. Got no. Denise, save me. He will eat. Save me. He will eat. Uh, il, il mangera. We have no problem. We have an ER verb, which is a big thing for me to say because you know I despise that terminology. We have an ER verb. An ER verb, and we're going into the future tense. Off you go. I will always miss Phil. Go. Uh, Phil me manquera toujours. Toujours, toujours. Toujours. You might have noticed that this little shit gives you toujours quite a lot. All right. That's Lovely. Um, I would have missed Phil if I hadn't seen him. Phil manqué. Good. Si. If I hadn't seen him. Si me, si if I uh, hadn't seen him, who is starting the sentence I hadn't seen him? Uh, me. Uh, si je ne l'avais vu. Si ne je la, si je If I hadn't ne, seen him, begin again. Uh, si je ne l'avais pas vu. Good. Don't hate me. Can you say for me, I see him, top six, bottom six. Get up. Let's get back on this top and this bottom. Off you go. Okay. 
je le vois. No, je... no, at speed, please. We speed. Speak. Go. Okay. Um, uh, je le vois, je le verrai. Oh, so you the trick for this, people. You've only got to change one word at a time. On the top row, you're only changing one word at a time. On the bottom row, you're only changing one word at a time. Yeah? We don't need to be re-fathoming everything else every single time. Off you go. Je le vois, je le verrai, je le verrai. Je le then Present was. Right, I know. For some reason, I'm blanking out. You guys out. don't know, and I don't mean this cruelly, but this is core Luke. It's no. It's core Luke. Yeah, every single time you guys get a new verb, if you honestly want to not screw it up. I know this sounds dumb, but one of the best things in the entire world, things in the entire world that could happen to me, could have happened to me as a language teacher is having a background in something physical because you honestly realize the power of muscle memory over knowing stuff. The language thing is exactly the same. In fact, it's actually even more potently that because you are using language center rather than knowing stuff. You are not doing enough guys of top six and bottom six. Don't be all like, oh, I found this new podcast, I found this new thing. Say the sentences you are given in everybody's videos out loud, teeth together, join through. And then go and do podcast stuff. If I have to do this with you, there's no damn point going and doing podcasts. It is a form of intellectual masturbation that makes you guys feel better about your French. Get this shit down. Small teeth, push through, go. Yeah. I was blanking out about. I know, the, I know, I know, but, I, but 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 it doesn't matter. You can either bring me an excuse about the knowledge or bring me an excuse about the recollection. I get it. I get it. I know. There's two pillars of language learning. You know what I'm about to say: comprehension, recollection. Half the time we're practicing recollection. Okay. Half the time we're practicing recollection. Either way, was it there when we needed it? No. Do we need to do more top six, bottom six? Yes. Up you go. Go. Je le vois, je le voyais, je le verrai, je le verrai. No, Elle est who's the so who's the future? Je le verrai, je le verrai. Well, Elle est un... Three in a row with il, you guys go future, ra. Right. Ray, keep going. Uh, je le verrai, je le verrai. Il est intéressant que je le revoie avant de le voir. Good. Bottom line, keep going. You guys uh, all think you need a ha, 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 between the top and the bottom. Off you go. Uh, je l'ai vu, je l'ai vu, je l'avais vu. Me, not being funny, did that come out of the mouth as if we'd said it ever before in our life? Off you go, je l'ai vu, go. Which word are we changing now, Den Den? Uh, the, um, uh, the auxiliary. The A, yeah, off you go, good. Je l'ai vu, je l'avais vu, je l'aurai vu, je l'aurai vu. Stand still, is that not a complete oh, repetition? I, I know. I don't I know. care. I know why. I know why. How many people have a ra in the future? Two. Je, re, tu, ra. Il ra. Nous rend, vous re, il rend. We have two of the six with a ra. We cannot, as token, go to ra every bloody time we are in the future. Is that a fair thing to say? Off you go. Je l'ai vu, je l'avais vu, je l'aurais vu, je l'aurais vu. Il est intéressant que je l'ai vu après l'avoir vu. Good. I would be pushing you guys to do two additional things. One, don't stress auxiliaries. Two, um, make sure when you are going into these tense spaces now that you are thinking in these tense spaces. Je le vois. Je le voyais. Je le verrai. Je le verrai. Avant de le voir, feel it, think it, whatever. Tia. Um, I'm going to miss Luke. I might make it to the end of the week, you guys. We'll see. Oh, by the way, though, do you know what's happening on Friday? Composites are coming off. Yeah, and then I have to have a month before the non-bright white goes back on. 
Um, I don't even know what's underneath because they slightly sanded the original teeth to get the composite on. So shit only knows what's underneath. So it might be they don't have the... I may not have the camera on with you guys, but oh, it might not be going on YouTube. So the guy was like, look, let's just give you a month to like just see, when, let your gums calm down from this. And he was like... Um, what I, he's like, what I like to do is that I like to bleach what's underneath to a nice colour. And he said, and then I like to do um, edge bonding. So he's like, so if you did need any repair work just on the edge, I'll put a bit of composite. But I don't like a big Californian thing. So, yeah. And he's a really nice guy. So we'll see. But he said, but my daughter's mother was like, everybody I know that's had composites removed just hates it until they put some more on. So... We'll see. So it might be that I don't even work next week. <laughs> but but get, this is the last time that you'll see. You know, they're nice. They're fine. But they're just too. They're not me. Like they're just. They're just. They're just too big and too white. So yeah, off you go. So in other words, that's what's happening. So next week though, when we do stuff, uh, so save me. Oh, I'm gonna miss Luke. Save me. I'm gonna miss Luke. Off you go. I'm gonna miss Luke. Uh, Tia. Uh, Luke va me manquer. Good. Let's not be under any doubt, people. Muscle memory with Monkey is a bit of a shit show. Why do you think, Tia, we might have other things going on there? Why? What else? Is the usage of Monkey we've just done the only usage of Monkey? No. Give me another usage of. So, what does il me manque mean? Il me manque. I miss him. Good. Or it could be, I am lacking. Do you see what I mean? Il me manque. Good. So, um, uh, so, so that way you could have something like, um, you know, um, il, il lui a manqué. Yeah, he missed him. Yeah, um, or, you know, she missed him. You could have il la manqué, couldn't you, where the verb manqué is being used differently. Yeah, what would what would il la manqué um, mean, Denise? Il, no, Tia, il la manqué, what would that mean? Mm. Uh, he lacked it. More commonly, he missed it. Like okay. a bus awesome. or a train or a plane. Yeah. So why do you think, Tia, that that is a little shit? Because your muscle memory is getting used to using la, le, and lui with the same verb, isn't it? Why do you think passé is so horrible? Ça, sorry, um, ça, c'est passé, reflexive, etc. Quelque chose a passé, something happened. Um, so, no. He spent an hour with Brendan. Il a passé. Who am I kidding? He spent 17 seconds with Brendan. Il a passé 17... <laughs> Il a passé the best of my life, Brendan. Um, uh, then we'll just sit and watch Netflix afterwards. It'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. Um, Il a passé 17 minutes, whatever, I think, Brendan. I'll just up to your duration. Um, yeah. So muscle memory. Am I too worried about you guys getting the wrong muscle memory at the moment? No. Should I be? Yes. I want to be worried that you're going to have the wrong muscle memory. What do I need to know is happening for you guys to have the wrong muscle memory? Joinage. Yes. Are we at any great risk at the moment of it being the wrong muscle memory? <laughs> no. So join every single one of you's got a gorgeous voice. So go away and practice Monkey and Player. They are so common. Oh, ça m'a beaucoup plu. Merci. Oh, il m'a... Oh, il a laissé les clés sur la table. Ce qui m'a plu. You know, that was really nice of him. Um, uh, oh oui, oh non, Luc, malheureusement, la euh, logique est fermée. Oh, c'est dommage. Oui, ça m'aurait plu. I'd like that. You know, um, you know, fine, 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 fine. So we've spoken about player versus MA. We've spoken about which comes where. We've spoken about how player will use the, the indirect. Ça me plaît, ça te plaît, ça lui plaît, ça vous plaît, ça leur plaît. Ça nous plaît, ça nous plaît, ça vous plaît, ça leur plaît. We've spoken about how player can have player and place on the day in the subjunctive. We've spoken about who goes where. 
we've spoken about just because you're doing what your brain still think of as a reverse, not to be scared of any of the tenses. Yeah, we've spoken about that, haven't we? We've spoken about how manke is going to do the same thing. We've spoken about how manke itself has il me manque as a neutral I'm lacking. And also manke for j'ai manque something else, like I've missed the bus, the whatever, whatever, whatever. All right? Good. Good. All of you are welcome in the later class if you wanted to come. Just WhatsApp me if you don't get the invitation. All of you are welcome. That's fine. Um, if you've enjoyed this class, people, can you ping me a coffee amount? The link will be underneath. That is very, very much appreciated. Um, good, 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 good. Like I said, anybody that ex anticipates being in this class at 8.30, so in two hours, and doesn't get the invitation, please, whatever. If you love somebody and you miss them, then my heart goes out to you. Um, and if you fancy somebody, then tell them in the right way. <laughs> Or maybe just tell them you fancy them and not, don't love them, because otherwise things explode. So good. Well done, well done, well done. Have your fun first. All right, loads of love, people. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Teeth closed, join, no repetition, hanging on the bell. Are we in agreement? All right, love to all of you. Good, 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 good. You look lovely. Um, I will speak to you later. Brendan, I like your hair. <laughs>